Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to review this back converter voltage regulator based on XL4015. This is a voltage regulator that can accept between 8 to 36 volts as an input and the output can be regulated between 1.25 up to 32 volts. The maximum current that it, this can handle according to the data sheet is 5 ampere. So this, this is a voltage regulator and constant current, which you can set the voltage and the current of the output. Voltmeter here and also the ampere meter. So this shows the output voltage and this shows the current that is being output from the device. On this side, we have a connector, which you can put to the screw, the wire for the input, which I put this. And also I've soldered this one for simplicity to show the input voltage. And then we have the output here, same thing, so you can connect your wires. This wire is not strong enough if you're using it for longer uh, length, but for this short length that I'm using, uh, it's okay, the, the voltage drop is very minimal. Two potentiometer are for selecting the output voltage and the constant current. So you can select constant current for the output, for different purposes. Voltage converter based on XL4015 from XL Semiconductor. This module is sold like this with another piece at the top. So I just removed it so you can see. So the module has this screwdriver type uh, terminal that you can uh, insert the wire and tighten it, that's good and also on this side, and when I put this here, at the top also, so you can adjust it, there are holes for screwdrivers uh, to open it or close it. So this is the output voltage, and that's the current of output it shows. So this is the data sheet, as you can see here, the wide input voltage between 8 to 36 volts and output voltage between 1.25 to 32. So you can do the reduction and max. it says maximum duty cycle is 100% and efficiency is 96 as they claim. So the important thing is here, this one, the 5 ampere constant current. So the package is TO. 263-5L. So this is a Quezon supply current, 2.1 milliampere if you don't use it, so this much it consumes. Mm, data, another graph, which are only for the chip because it's used as a module, so let's focus on this. So to set the output current, we just do the short circuit of the output, and you can see here it's one amp. And so to set the output current, I uh, have to just make the short circuit, the output short circuit, and this blue LED will let that it shows the maximum current reached and then adjust it. So I'm using this uh, crocodile clip for short circuit. So, and then adjusting the current. So I set the current for uh, five volt, five amp. Now the input is 12 volts, the output is five volts, and the current limit is set five ampere. And this load is also set as five ampere. So let's test it. So let's make this 4.9 so this doesn't draw more so that's good so that one is running at 5 5 amp 5 volts theoretically this this uh, voltage regulator now need a heat sink. I do not believe that it can handle 5 ampere continuously for a long period. Let's 
dropping more if it drops around 0 0.3 volts then uh, that means it failed this bottom is very hot I cannot even touch it now this fan will interfere with this because it is cooling this down and my result will be affected so I have to block it very hot I can feel the heat even at these screws I accept this because the voltage did not drop more than 8 point something it never went to 7 so now the input voltage is 12 the output is 3.3 .3 and the current is 5 ampere let's try it because the input and output difference is huge from 12 to 3 9 volts difference now it should heat up quickly and let's see if this voltage drops more and more it shows that the system cannot handle that 5 ampere current so if the voltage become 3 volts that's troubling So it cannot it could not handle 3.3 volts and the system shut off because it overheated. So 5 ampere 3.3 volts failed. Now let's check the stability. We have around 11.9 or 12 volts, the output is 3 volts and I'm applying 2 ampere. So now I'm reducing the voltage, the input voltage, and I want to see if the output is being affected, how, how much. As you can see, still not being affected. Of course, it will be, when it gets closer to this, you will see the effect. okay at 3.7 or at 4 it started affecting it and 4.5 above no change so now let's go even higher put 20 volts still the voltage is good the voltage regulation is very good even at 30 volts the voltage is not being affected I'm just going up and down. So conclusion is this, that this device can handle up to 5 ampere, uh, the higher voltage of uh, around 9 volts and 5 volts, but it became very hot if there is a ventilation or a fan to cool this because there is no room, there is very small room for heat sink. Uh, if that's the case, if it gets cooled, it uh, will be able to handle up to 5 amp, 5 ampere. 5 ampere at 5 volts but at 3.3 volts it got very hot so 4 volts for sure this can handle it under most circumstances so this is one of the best uh, that you can get because uh, you can set the current limit also and you can set the output voltage and the maximum is up to 5 amp so this is a good deal I'm gonna also provide the link to one of the store on eBay which I have no affiliation with and then you can search for uh, other sellers and get this or maybe you can get it from Amazon as well so thank you for watching please thumb up the video please subscribe so uh, you can get updates of my upcoming videos and if you have any questions or comment please post it at the comment section I will try to answer it and take care